and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over our Mike and Zell Intense Moment. This is a collaboration with other members from the debt-free community. Thank you to Allison for inviting me to be part of this um, collaboration. Everyone who's part of this collaboration, their videos are going to be linked down below. So please go over and watch theirs. And we all have a different spin on how we approach this topic. So I'm really excited to see what they're coming up with as well. Um, and once you're there, feel free to subscribe. We're all smaller channels looking to you know grow um, our community. We are mostly over on Instagram, but everyone here has a YouTube channel as well. So with that, let's go over my gazelle intense moment. If you've come over here from another channel and you're new here, I'm Vicki. I live in the San Francisco Bay Area with my husband and two children, and we're on this debt-free journey as well. We're looking to pay off $120,000 worth of debt. We started about a year ago, and um, we've really chipped away. We're down to $90,000 in debt, and we have a HELOC, a home equity line of credit, and my consolidated student loans left. Um, we're really excited to get under a hundred grand and uh, looking forward to paying this off as soon as possible. So with that, let's get into the collab and some questions. So the first question, and sorry to look over, I just want to make sure I'm reading my notes. What was the moment where you decided something had to change? And for me, it really was when I met my husband. I really thought just everyone had debt, student loan was good debt, you know, the same thing you hear everyone else talking about. Um, and I was really embarrassed about my debt because my husband was debt free. I think that was like the moment I knew something changed and I was always listing out all my bills and I thought I was budgeting. But really until I was introduced to Dave Ramsey, I had no idea what a zero based budget was. And so um, the way I found Dave Ramsey was I started listening to podcasts and eventually I got over to his and her many and then I just kept hearing this Dave Ramsey's name being mentioned and I had never heard of him. So I Googled him, been watched all the videos there and um, got on board. I have not been to FPU. I have not read Total Money Makeover, um, but I have watched so many YouTube videos and have collaborated and am part of the debt free community. I feel like I have like all the principles that I need. So with that, um, I printed out three months worth of statements, credit card statements, and really tried to figure out where we were spending our money. So we have a big shovel, but we also had a lot of mountain of debt. Uh, we were spending most of our money on groceries and eating out. And I'm embarrassed to even tell you what we were spending on those two categories. But really, that's where we trimmed the fat. The other thing that I did, which was suggestion from people calling into Dave's um, uh, radio show was to go through my credit cards and find out those auto subscriptions that everyone subscribes to and forgets about. So that was really cool to do. Also, I had taken a job where I was commuting on um, public transit and I had Sirius XM radio in my car. Well, that was dumb. I was never in my car anymore. So I was, it was an easy thing to cut. Um, because I was never listening to it like on an app or anything. It was just when I got in my car and I would only drive like maybe three minutes. So it, it was an easy expense to cut. So that's kind of where um, I decided something had to change. I found out about the zero based budget and was like, oh my gosh, I did not know about a zero based budget. I didn't realize that I wasn't giving my a dollar or my na a name to every dollar. I was listing out just my bills. Um, and it literally was a mind blowing, um, event for me. <laughs> uh, so with that, the second question is how did your intensity change paying off debt? Man, that snowball. It's no joke. It really does. You start hitting those smaller ones and it just rolls and rolls. It, it felt so good. We paid off two cars, a 401k loan that I had. Um, and that was amazing. And then we just had the bigger debts, the home equity line of credit and the, the consolidated student loans. If you're new here, you don't know that I was laid off when I was six months pregnant and I have a two month old. So if you wanna know anything about any of that tragedies, go check out my videos on my channel. 
but since then we have paused our debt snowball so we are just on a zero base budget which has been really great um, you really you know Dave says when you plan for an emergency and something happens it's just an inconvenience and that's really how we felt um, between our savings because we were saving for a baby fund and unemployment this really hasn't been that bad um, you know I eventually have to start looking for work and we'll get back on the snowball but we're still not accruing more debt which is the most important thing and I think um, it would have been just so overwhelming had I not discovered this debt-free community prior to that um, the other thing about my intensity and how the third question is, how does, how has that impacted your life? It really has. Um, the debt-free community has shown, first of all, I've met the debt-free community, which is amazing. So if you don't know about them, find them, hashtag debt-free community on Instagram. There's so many tips and tricks that people give you about um, pantry challenges and um Eating your left. I know eating leftovers sounds trivial, but seriously I, I, No one does it <laughs> a few things that I have learned is to do pantry challenges to Shop my freezer and my fridge before going to the grocery store to meal plan um, That was huge for me. I did not do that and that has helped save my family money um, the other thing I've done is looked for ways to increase my income by selling things. I haven't been as great as other people in this community, um, but I'm getting there. So we've started putting things on Facebook Marketplace. We've made about $75. I think if I was a little more diligent, we could make more, um, but I just need to do that. The other way that this journey has impacted my life is really talking to family and friends. And while some of them probably don't want to hear it, and I don't talk to everybody about it, um, I was able to impact two of my brother's lives. One of my brothers became debt free in the last month, which is amazing. And my other um, brother and sister-in-law have started the journey as well. So it's been great. The other thing that we've imp implemented is cash envelopes and electronic sinking funds. That has really impacted our family in a positive way. We use Capital One 360. Um, I think I have videos on that as well as my referral code um, down below and it's been such a great thing for us the other way that the intensity changed for us was using cash we did ne we never used cash before we would just swipe our credit card and while I disclosure we still use a credit card for points and we still have things coming out um, that are auto debited so like our wash, our water, our trash, our Pacific Gas and Electric, things like that where it's automatically going to get debited. We use our credit card and then I immediately pay it off. Um, but where this has been really helpful has been using cash for groceries. So when that money is gone, it's gone. And so I'm really conscious about budgeting for groceries. Um, and the other thing is we now get cash for weekly money for personal money as well as weekly lunch money um, and a lot of the times I'm sending my husband with a lunch but there's times where he wants to go out to lunch with his buddies and so he has cash for that so that's a little bit about our intensity here in the Vita with Vicky household I'm curious how you have done in your debt-free journey leave me a comment down below and let me know are you using some of these tips and tricks? Do you meal plan? Do you use cash envelopes? Let me know. And don't forget to check out all of the other collaborators on this video. Have a great day, everyone. Take care. Bye.